everybody. Thank you for joining us for this fourth week of the watch list weevil challenge. Pam, what is our challenge for this week? Well, this week we're going to talk about privacy levels on your profiles. All right. So Azure's going to get us there. So you just go to your My Wiki Tree menu and scroll down to the bottom. Towards the bottom, there's a link there for watch list. You'll just open that up and it will show you your watch list. So go ahead. Here's what it'll look like when it comes up. It has this header. And then um, as Pam is talking about the privacy, this you'll see that on the right-hand mm -hmm. side here. Yeah, these little bubbles on the right-hand side um, that talk about who can look at your profile, who can mess with it, who can change it, who can source it. And it's very important to have our profiles as open as possible. When you open a profile and you look at the possibilities for privacy, there's everything from black, they're living, no one knows about it but me, to clear, which is open, which means we work on them together. And this note appears on every profile. More open profiles encourage collaboration. These privacy controls are for privacy, not control. So we want to use the most liberal setting possible on our profiles. And sometimes when we build things or we download a GEDCOM, we put a privacy level on that keeps us from collaborating. So I want you to look through your watch list and you can sort it or you can just flip down through looking for ones that are closed up where the little bubble is not clear. And what you are looking for is people who were born before 1920. There may be a few people born before 1920 who are still living, but that's a guideline. Um, or who have a sourced date of death. And you want to open those profiles unless there's a really solid reason for keeping them closed up for privacy. Um, that way we can all work on them together. So you want to be, um, you want to look and either put a source date of death or you might choose about uncertain but not living, which is another choice on the profile. If you have knowledge, ah, eh, my grandma died, but I don't remember what year. And open these profiles up for research, collaboration, and possible matches. And if you get on a roll, feel free to do more than five. But your challenge this week is to find at least five profiles of folks who are deceased or who need you to add a source date of death and open them up to this clear bubble for research, collaboration, and possible matches. All right, and so you do that just by going to this privacy tab and you can scroll down and here are your options that uh, Pam was mentioning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change this profile to open because I want to be able to collaborate with others on it and have others be able to see it so I'm gonna set that new privacy level. All right, it's good to go. It's all Yay. open. Yay. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Yes. All right. So uh, as always, if you have completed the challenge, go ahead and click this link for the G2G post and share with us what you did, how many profiles you opened up for collaboration. We'd love to hear from you. And again, the Previous week's challenge is linked here. And once you're ready, you can click the link for week the next week, which will be week five. So tune in next week, Wednesday, 1030 a.m. Eastern time for the next challenge. We look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you around the tree. Bye. Thank you.